Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join a hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. Devils made some really good moves today. And, um, you know, it was a key signing with Corey Crawford. Key trade, sending Joey Anderson to the Toronto Maple Leafs for Andreas Janssen. So let's talk about it. So um, talking about the trade, um, it, was, it was a trade that took us off guard. You know, a lot of Devils fans were just looking at social media constantly to see if the Devils were doing anything. You're seeing all these names taken off the board, kind of wondering what they're going to do because they already said what they wanted. Their plan was to go into free agency, getting a top six winger, a third line winger, two defensemen. So you knew they wanted to do a lot. And when we saw free agency come and go the first day, Devils fans were getting worried. But I did say in my last video it may take time, and it did. So um, they made this trade today, sending Joey Anderson to the Toronto Maple Leafs for Andreas Janssen. I really like this trade. Um, you're bringing in a versatile winger who can play the left side or the right side, but is mainly for the left wing. Um, the Devils are picking up his full contract. No salary was retained by Toronto. Uh, he has three seasons left with $13.6 million, which breaks down to $3.4 million AAV, which is very good for a top six guy is what I'm assuming he's, he was for. Um, he's 25 years old. He was a seventh round draft pick and he was a later pick that ended up working out. And there's not a lot of those that happen. Um, 5'10", 194 pounds. He's got good size. And in 43 games this year, he uh, scored eight goals, 13 assists, 21 points. And in 73 games in 18-19, he scored 20 goals, 23 assists, 43 points. So he's kind of projected to be around that 20 goal guys, maybe a 45 to 50 point player. So that was with Toronto. Maybe he gets an added role in the Devils, playing a bit more uh, power play time, maybe a bit more on the top uh, top two lines where he may score a bit more, maybe put up some more points on the board. But he's definitely that net front presence sort of player that we need and we don't have a lot of. So I really like this in regards to that. And he's a good skater. Um, a lot of Toronto fans really like the way he brings up the puck. He's got a good shot. So we'll see what he has to offer. Um, you know, going the other way is Joey Anderson, uh, 5'11", 190 pounds, 22 years old. In 1920, he played in 18 games, four goals, two assists, six points. And in his career, he played in 52 games, eight goals, five assists, 13 points. He was a third round pick in the 2016 draft. And um, I like Joey Anderson. I really did. You know, they, they really spoke a lot about him being our next Blake Coleman. And when we saw that trade go down, we kind of assumed he would get an added role starting coming up this year. He definitely took some strides this year towards seeing what he could do. And he did play a bit better than previously coming up and, and playing when he was called up from Binghamton. So um, I like what he looked like this year. I was curious to see how his development would go in the next coming years. So Toronto, if you develop this kid right, he can be a special player for you guys. I don't think he's going to be a top line guy or a, you know on the first line or the second line. I think he's going to be more of a third or fourth liner. But he's going to be one of those players that will probably be a fan favorite once he starts to really develop. Um, I think you guys and girls will grow to love him. So I don't think this is a deal mainly for uh, cash dump. But um, I think this is going to be a, a trade that works out for both teams. You know, New Jersey needs that that um, top two line winger. Whereas, um, you know, Toronto has a lot of scoring. They need help with their salary. But they can use players for the future on their bottom, bottom two lines. So... If he's developed right, Joey Anderson could be a good find for you guys and girls. So um, I really like what this trade does for both teams, but it's a very good trade that Fitzgerald made, and it's another one, so I'm getting impressed. Good job, Fitzy. Now going to Corey Crawford. He signed a two-year deal worth $7.8 million for $3.9 million AAV. Um, he talked about how the Devils were contacting him a lot in regards to other teams during free agency. Um, he said that he basically was told about the plan and he knows it off the bat. He knows Mackenzie Blackwood's our future and he's going to be here to help guide him and mentor him, but still be here to play um, possibly half a season, maybe because he played 40 games last year, you know, splitting the season. So um, I could see him possibly being that maybe like a 35 game guy and give him Mackenzie a little bit more. So, um, you know, his development speeds up a little bit, but I think he's going to be a definitely good player to mentor at Blackwood to help be a good locker room guy for the rest of the team. He brings in a lot of playoff experience, 96 games, it says, two Stanley Cups. So it's always good to have those sort of players around in the locker room where it's a young team. They haven't went through the rigors of a playoff a lot. So definitely a player that can definitely add a lot to this team. 
So um, in 1920, uh, Crawford played in 16 games. Uh, I'm sorry, he played in 40 games. He had 16 wins, 20 losses. Um, he posted a 2.77 GAA, a .917 save percentage, which are good numbers. And in his career, he played in 488 games, 260 wins, 162 losses, uh, 2.43 GAA, and a .918 save percentage. So... He has good stats over his career. Of course, he played with Chicago, who had a phenomenal team. And during those cup runs, they had really good teams that were put together. But um, he sees the potential in New Jersey with our young talent. And, um, you know, in recent interviews, he said that he was surprised with, with uh, Mackenzie Blackwood um, and how great, of a go uh, how great of a young goalie he is. Uh, he said that New Jersey has great young talent up front. Group, I feel confident signing, going to. And um, to help win games. They're very underrated. So that's good that he sees that in us. Uh, Jersey was very interested. Talked to them the most. Uh, very up and coming team. And he's excited to come here. Um, Martin Brodeur was a great um, person to help. Uh, pitching the, the job to Corey Crawford. And what, what his uh, plan was for him here. Uh, laid out team's plan. And why he was a good fit. And that was per Chris Westcott. And uh, Mike Kelly, I know a lot of you guys and girls may be fam familiar with him. He was on the NHL Network. Um, he tweeted out that Crawford was a top 10 goalie last season. As far as tandems go, Blackwood and um, Crawford are going to be one of the better ones in the NHL. So I'm excited for this. I really am. I like Corey Crawford bringing him in. You know, I was looking at other options as well who would, who would be a good fit. But you saw other goalies going very fast to other teams. And the goalie market really went... Quicker than a lot of names throughout throughout the the first day of free agency, you saw a lot of them get taken right away because that was one of those things that a lot of teams really needed this year going into next year. So um, you know they they asked um, there was a tweet that came out a while ago that um, I think it was 2015 when they asked him, but it's of course the surfacing now that he switched teams. They said what was uh, they asked Corey Crawford what his favorite teams were growing up as a kid, and he said the Canadians and as I got older the Devils. So. Um, that's encouraging that he uh, he was a fan of the team growing up and um, that he's on it now. So typically when fans go to their teams, they may, it may be an added incentive to do better and, and help the team win a bit more. So I like these moves. I really do. The Devils are definitely a better team after making all these moves. You know, making that Murray trade was very good. Corey Crawford signing was great. And bringing in Andreas Janssen. And with these three players, you got to worry about their health concerns because... All three situations are basic questions of if they're healthy, they can be really good. So hopefully they're healthy to go into the next year, play with us and play as much as they can to help us win some more games and potentially push for a playoff spot. So comment below what you think about this, what you think about these moves. Um, I did my Murray video. I'll link it at the end if you guys and girls haven't checked it out. Um, I love that trade. Um, I like this this trade too. Andreas Janssen, I have a feeling he's going to be a good player for the Devils. You know, um, possibly put in 20-plus goals, 50-plus points. That'd be great to, for the Devils to add. And um, Crawford, if he can do a good uh, season and help us win some games, help McKenzie grow a bit more, that's what we need him for. So comment below what you think about all these moves. Do you think the Devils also have more moves? Because um, they have $18.3 left uh, to get to that 81.5. They still need another defenseman. Um, can we possibly get another winger? I don't know. There's still some names out there into Foley, uh, Dadanov, and Hoffman, to name a few. Hall's still out there, but I don't think we're going to go for him. But, um, you know, there's still some names out there that the Devils could possibly look at. I don't know. So um, comment below what you think about free agency, how it's been. Do you think we should do more? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you all for your time and watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join the hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Have a great night and take it easy.